What's up everyone? I hope you've been well. Today is testing day on Loki's Overland setup. Uh, we're excited about this. I got off work early, ran home, grabbed the girls, threw everything in the bed of the truck that we needed for camping that wasn't already packed into it, and headed over to our favorite campsite, Holder Mine. Now this is going to be perfect for testing the camp setup, the quickness, the uh, ease of the setup, the cleanliness of the setup, um, and tomorrow morning I'm hoping to do a little bit of off-road testing out in Citrus WMA, uh, one of our best local playgrounds out here. Um, now, it was kind of interesting packing the bed of the truck up because, you know, even though we cut our storage in half from the soft topper, because the tent holds so much of the stuff that you had to keep in boxes, like the tent and, you know, the sleeping bags, air pads, air mattresses, and air pillows, and all that kind of stuff, I went through our camp setup and was able to remove, like, I mean, I would say like a good 30, maybe 35% of the stuff that we were carrying around. And I was really interested or uh, uh, surprised to see it, how well that, you know, half our storage, how well everything's still packed inside the bed of the truck. But it's perfect testing conditions for the camp setup because these are like the ideal conditions of getting to camp. Sun is starting to set. Uh, it's just the beginning stages right now, so I'll slowly be losing daylight while I'm setting up the tent, setting up the girls, setting up the whole camp setup. Uh, you know, so this is kind of the best ideal testing conditions for testing out the new camp setup. So let's go ahead, throw the time code for the video on the bottom of the screen, and let's see how long this takes. Realistically, just like that, camp is set up. Now, the girls, the girls I gotta figure out, they're in an annoying spot, but the tent, that's it, it's done. Come here, come here you, hey, come here. Hey, nope, you stay over there. Oh, oh, oh. oh my gosh, all right. Right, and there we go. They are definitely doing their best to be a handful, like I said. All right, well, I think I've got sort of the ideal camp set up. Hold on here, let me 
Let me bump this up a little bit more so you guys can see what's actually happening here. Whoop. That's now daylight outside, which it's not. Let's go with the dark that. Yeah. So keep in mind it is, you know, sun has actually set. I'm just pumping the ISO up so you can see what's happening here. So the dogs, the girls, there, they're chilling. Their location, way better. They're not out here wrapping around the fire pit anymore. It's uh, got a lot better. So let's uh, see, ideally, you know, we won't have like a fire pit to hang out at. So ideally, you know, we probably just hang out at the back of the truck. So, you know, the two chairs, table, some lighting off behind us so we can share with you guys as to what's happening. Uh, then, you know, we've got the bed set up. So that box down there is camp gear. Um, oh, I got really bright with that light there. Um, you know, water's down below, the cooler's down below. You know, you've got the camp kitchen box, the stove, propane hangs out down here. It's got a 12 foot hose so it can reach the buddy heater or the uh, stove with ease. And then there's a couple of other things in there like the heater just packed away. So uh, just in case you needed to pull it out, it's there. Um, yeah, and then for lighting, we got, uh, we got this idea for the Claymores from, uh, inspired by another YouTuber. His name is Jason Kirchy. Does a, did a lot of stuff. Uh, went to, just did a lot of stuff. Uh, don't know what happened to him. He's sort of coming back now, but that's not the point of this video. The point is his idea with these Claymore lights for filming, it's actually perfect. If you notice, they don't do this strobing thing. I can change the, uh, where is it? I can change the temperature of this, you know? It's really nice. You know, if you want a nice warm light, those are those things are sweet. So that works out right there, hanging right off of the uh, the window pole there, you know? Camp light, you know, right there. Kitchen light, everything lights. One off to the side back here, backlighting, so you guys can see what's actually happening. See, if I'm out here, it's actually kind of dark. That area light, once I get inside of it, you can see everything. It's awesome. Okay, let's get to dinner.
believe you came this late. I didn't want to miss testing out the tent. <laughs> it's like 12.30. That's okay. You drove all the way out here? Just, like just Midnight? To just to come test out the tent? Yeah, I did. I didn't want to miss out. I would have had some FOMO. <laughs> FOMO for sure. So yeah, I figured like the bed of the truck would be like the hangout, kind of pretending like the rest of the campsite's not here. How was work? I'm happy you came. Mm -hmm. Long drive. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Especially this late, yeah. I was listening to a podcast, and then I had to switch to some music that I knew because I was starting to be like, all right, I'm getting a little tired. Yeah. <laughs> and I still have, oh, I'm only halfway. <laughs> yeah. Hour and a half. It's long after, uh... Especially... At night. At night. And after work, yeah. But you know what? what? Hopefully it's a good night's sleep. How do you like it? Huh? 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 <laughs> Alright, well we got everybody stuffed up into the tent. We're going to bed. We'll see you in the morning. So I drove out last night, an hour and a half after work, to come and test out our new rooftop tent because I didn't want to miss out on that. And it's definitely way easier to sleep than our ground tent setup. So I'm definitely very excited to be using this more. But I would say the most annoying part of it was the dogs. After we got them up in there last night, they thought the whole bed was theirs. Uh, started making a little nest up there in the um, sleeping bag thing that we bought for it. but. And then in the morning when we were trying to get out, then I thought that they were going to jump out of the open hole, but they were just looking. So, but you know, a little mom freak out there, <laughs> but I'm really excited to be using this more um, in our camping adventures. Unfortunately, I have some previous things I have to get done today. So I'm gonna basically wake up, eat breakfast, and split, cause I gotta go. Well, Tracy just took off. She had to leave. She's got some things she's uh, obligated to do today. Uh, pretty, pretty crazy. So uh, she drove out here midnight just to sleep. Basically half a night, eat breakfast and leave in the morning. Uh, but I gotta get started on uh, cleaning this mess up and then uh, hit the trails. Just getting started out on the trail right outside the campground there. The goal of this is to just get a feel for any changes that may have occurred with the new setup. It's a lot more weight. Uh, I'm definitely gonna hit 14 just to see if I can do it. As I always say, you haven't really come to Citrus if you haven't tried trail 14. Uh, so that'll, be a good gauge of uh, 
difference in capability in that aspect there. So definitely gonna use that as a little bit of a gauge to see if any of the capabilities of Loki have been lost or hey, maybe because of the weight, maybe it's a little easier. Uh, we never know. So uh, we're only gonna spend maybe about an hour or two out here just to get a feel for it. bit of a crowd today none of these fine friendly folk were able to uh, make it up it's uh it's a bit torn up today we're gonna just give her a shot let's see how we make out Trail 14 finally got us. Did the old bust out the taillight move that's been getting everybody else. I, uh, I probably should have stopped and given up, but I didn't. So now we have that. <sighs> I really should have backed down when it wasn't just crawling up. Uh, that was that was the moment I should have stopped. I really should not have tried bumping it because I have seen literally five to six other people do exactly what I just did. It makes you feel pretty bad, but hey, let's continue testing. Uh, it looks like citrus is a little wet today. Um, so I'm interested to see what some of these other trailers are going to feel like with the new setup. Uh, and, and who knows, maybe my downfall here was the new setup. Uh, maybe that's the reason why I wasn't able to get up it. Uh, but either way, I really should have just quit while I was ahead when it wouldn't just walk up like all the other times I've made it up. I, I just should not have bumped it. But that's my mistake. I'm going to have to eat it see what we can do about getting that fixed up. It's, I guess it's a good thing we already have taillights coming on the way, but everything has been back ordered and we're not looking to get those until July. Um, so that's a pretty big bummer. We're gonna have to go to Wisconsin with two mangled taillights now. Uh, no, one, no one else's fault but my own. Um, so yeah, well, let's just continue on with the day and Hurry up and get home and get things figured out.
Just got off Trail 14 there. I'm now traveling southward on Trail 15, headed down to the southern little mud bog area. Uh, like I said, I'm not gonna try to get too crazy out there. I've already done enough damage today. Um, but so far, I'm getting a good gauge of how Loki feels. Um, you can definitely tell that that weight is there. Just, uh, it's not as bad as I thought it would be. It doesn't really feel like I'm tossing around that much weight back there. Uh, but that being said, we, I, I am kind of considering getting a new leaf pack for them because we're definitely overloaded on the ones that we've got. But that being said, it does feel, it feels all right back there, but Loki is definitely squatting. Uh, probably need to look into getting uh, some like 300 to 600 pound constant load ones. Um, so yeah, got some things to consider for continuing on Loki's build here, but let's, uh, let's just get down to trail 15 there, check it out and uh, see, see how he makes it through there. Looks like um, somebody here has had a rough time. I wish they were, wish they were still with their vehicle. I'd, I'd be definitely giving them a hand and trying to get that out. But I don't want to do any kind of recovery while nobody's there. That thing is, that is flooded, for sure. This is the southern portion of uh, Trail 15 that I was talking about. This mud hole, that trail right there no go i have literally never seen anybody make it down that trail this one should be totally doable it's usually very very easy to do now i don't know what the condition of it is now but for testing out a little bit of a muddy situation that's our route right there All right, well, there we are. Uh, Loki made it through there, no problem. Um, very pleased with uh, the way that felt. Um, it is a little bit loose down there. It's not a complete hard bottom, so it is a good test of uh, muddy situation there. Uh, made it through just fine. Everything felt great, but like I said, I think we might be needing to consider getting heavier leaf springs, some 300 to 600 pound range. Because, I mean, look at that, he is. I don't know if you can see that there, but he is squatting. But I don't know if that would be a possibility before the Trans-Wisconsin Adventure Trail or afterwards. But it's definitely something for me and Tracy to consider uh, in getting changed on Loki. But that's it for today. I'm going to head home, try to figure things out for Loki, try to get the water port figured out, try to get that, that brand new taillight damage figured out. Uh, as always, you have a great week, and we'll catch you on the next one. To learn more about us and find out ways to help support the adventures, visit our website, sunshinestatevikings.com. And to keep up with our adventures, be sure to subscribe and hit the notification button and follow us on Facebook and Instagram at Sunshine State Vikings.